See if it's park him. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here on Tribune again. Uh, the chess freestyle gold challenge in Weissenhaus, Germany is ready and on. And nobody else than Magnus Carlsen invited a lot of the best chess players in the world. So eight of them are playing actually in Germany for a, a crown that is a little different of all the other stuff in chess. Um, normally they play regular chess, rapid, blitz, bullet or classical, but this time Magnus chose to set it up as a freestyle challenge and what they basically do is playing Fischer Random 960 all day long. This means these guys don't care about openings as, at all. And see, that's where this channel kicks in because in Tribune there are no openings because of the complexity available on the board. So if you're ready here, buckle up, fasten seat belts, and we're jumping into the game of today called Hexanity. Well, we're playing on a hexagonal shaped battlefield, so it's quite appropriate. And uh, by the way, both of us, Max and me, will be in Weissenhaus in two days from, from now. Uh, we'll be there from February 14th of 2024. Well, Max, kick it. Now it speaks. Okay, so I began with <laughs> uh, one of a couple hundred moves in the beginning. Uh, and I chose to step forward. A, a simple one. Stopping my servos from advancing and at the same time opening up uh, symmetry to get as fast as possible the first Sagittarius on the board. And, and you did it. Yeah. And so I'm quite active. I've eliminated uh, three servi, which is the plural of service. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm ha having a quite decent uh, lead in development. <laughs> okay. We will see. Yeah. Uh, to have the less the lesser uh, savvy you have on the board the better usually these tiny little guys can be the pain in the beep but uh, uh, they are quite slow you know and uh, so you have to set them up correctly on the board if you have them in the direct vicinity of your tribune to defend then it's a good idea and in the direct attack on the enemy tribune, uh, tribune it's it's good as well in the middle field it's uh, Awful. Yeah, and so I'm basically uh, trying to get rid of them as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. So I did the uh, same thing, and but this time you defend. Yeah. So I can't do the same thing as this one That's... would uh, attack and kill yeah. what comes out of this move. And and if you now attack... I have to yeah. reevaluate. If you would have attacked, then one piece would have fallen. I could have re-attacked, and so I would have disturbed the symmetry. But you chose to inflict here, and well, now the symmetry is gone as well. And I'm threatening to take, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so let's see. So you moved out of the way, and I probably uh, used this time to create something along mm -hmm. the diagonals. Uh, the threat here is also quite, uh, straightforward. Um, I'm trying to take here and it is not really defended. Mm -hmm. If I would take, uh, I would threaten the enemy leader uh, and on upon being taken by this one, two would remain and it would still be fatal so yeah. that's not an option <laughs> what wait wait the board oh. is a little damaged though yeah let me ah. yeah repaired okay so oh. i have to do something about it and i opted for uh, building up uh yeah building up i yeah well i lost the sagittarius here i Build up another one here, but this way I have two defenders. It's sufficient for the moment, but it freezes your development a lot because these two guys cannot move, and that's hampering. 
It's nothing out of the ordinary. Um, I attacked here uh, with like a simple threat again. Uh, I'm trying to perhaps take and um, well at the time it's not that bad but it's not that much of a loss and it's quite threatening so you you should better not allow this uh, especially long term and so you probably defended it right? Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, but in an awkward way. Now this dude is pinned. This is not really defended. This guy cannot move, uh, but forward. Yeah, I did not feel quite confident at this point. And so I developed a little bit more. Uh, booted this one out of the center. If you look closely, you will notice that this one, this one, and uh, this one are all working to get this one out of the center. So uh, basically, only these are like valid options for you to go to or uh, even here. Yeah, but this would be an awful position. Placing your yeah. Sagittarius at the side uh, means he's almost going AWOL. And so instead of running away like a coward, you uh, chose to uh, you chose violence. And when you attacked here, it's defended, but maybe <laughs> long term. This is a battle simulation, you know. It's not going without any violence. And you could surrender, by the way. I could. Yeah. But I won't. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> and so um, I'm basically uh, setting up uh, threats on this one uh, in the future if this one moves. Mm. Um, and so I'm aiming to overlo uh, overload this one. So um, it is currently defending two things at once. And perhaps there's like a uh, alternate future in which I could maybe sacrifice one of these uh, to get the other one. So that's what I was thinking at that time. I just noticed you have this symmetry here. This, uh, what is it? An Equus. This Equus yeah. guarded by Anastatus. And on the other side, the same structure. You're crisscrossing your race here. It's like in Ghostbusters when you're chasing. Uh, yeah, I didn't see that either. Goza? Yeah, um, you attacked me, uh, which is uh, bad as I had to move. <laughs> now, I probably didn't yeah, You move. can take here, but you didn't. Yeah, I, can. <laughs> I chose to combine here. Yeah, now? Uh, the idea is quite um, simple. You can't really attack this one. Mm. The gray diagonals are blocked. You can't really combine on them. And if you can, you can create an Equus, which is uh, this uh, neat fellow here. So you can't really attack me again. Yeah, and the Equus is the best option to hunt the Ballista down. Because the Ballista just can move, as you can see, according to the turquoise fields. This one hikes on the same fields the Equus uses to hike and attack. But the Ballista cannot defend on the diagonal. Yeah. And what did I do? I attacked you anyway. And so um, I basically don't want to be taken here, um, as this one's defended quite well. So uh, I yeah. chose to go here. Yeah, oh. If, oh. if uh, I'm... I'm Taking in. If I would have taken three pieces okay. from the ballista, then Max could have re attacked me. But this way, he would have lost three points of material because this is a guarded Sagittarius. Uh, when it is not guarded, this is a playable option. You can just sacrifice your ballista, get in Sagittarius, and well, maybe it is placed quite decent. But you kept the pressure on this dude, but you lowered the pressure on this file. Now I can activate some more of the dudes just uh, lazily hanging around. Okay, let's see. I, I just went out of the way. 
Um, you can take here like this, but I'm defended and I'm basically threatening this one, I think. Yeah. Uh, perhaps in the future. Uh, the nice thing about the attack on him is uh, that I can perhaps do something like that. Move here, and this one is pinned uh, to this one. So you can't really move this one away. But I actually like it is defended sufficiently. The Savus here, the Sagi here, four points to destroy your Equus entirely, if you yeah, want. Yeah, that's why I would attack like this. Yeah, you need one move, right? And what happens next? I can still take, because it's in a discovered attack, this way down. Anyhow. That's but I didn't do it. it. I didn't do it. So yeah, uh, you could go there, yeah. uh, which would be annoying to, for me. So uh, I did not allow this. Um, can I defend it like that? Uh, you can really get in now. Uh, if you look closely, um, well, everything is defended. So, uh, mm. All the black hexagons. No, ah, swift move. This is what the Equus is known for. You can rapidly change sides, attack from the other diagonal, right down the alley, and you block the pass right now. Yeah, but this Equus become, becomes a guardian to this status, and so he has a job, and he should not leave, leave this, this diagonal. And now I'm and striking in the center. Yeah. And I overlooked the attack on this one. Uh, I'm quite sure. So, oh, no, I didn't. Hmm. <laughs> Friend it to yeah. me. Okay. Well, I should probably have taken. Um, looking back at this, uh, this way I would only have lost one thing uh, when I lost two thing in uh, things in the game. How it proceeded. So. Yeah, but on this diagonal, I mean, if you lose your equus on this field by a counter attack of one of these two, then you have really to deal with this threat. Because it is somehow pinned and weak and yeah, but I could take. Which is Yeah, that's that's right. You would yeah, you would defend and posing problems here. Okay. So but uh, that's not how it went. So I took like this. It was a fair trade, but now this one is a little bit under fire and oh no. What happened? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. You have to be careful again with the ghost coin, right? Last time we just deleted it, and now it's. <laughs> I locked it in place. Don't lingering. Worry. Yeah. Okay. You can't click it. <laughs> Anyhow, you um, oh, okay. I created a Good. threat on the black hexagons. Hmm. But now I overlooked something, and if you want to, um, you can look at this like a little bit more closely and uh, ponder it a little bit. Yeah. Find the weak and soft spots in the black's position. So we will give you like three seconds to uh, think about it. Or pause the uh, video and take as ma much seconds or as many seconds you need. Yeah. And so, uh, if you want to attack someone, you need to uh, look at the pieces that can attack. Or buy yourself a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> this one can't really take here. Uh, yeah. I suppose you could go there, but th that does not pose a threat. No, um, you have two equities here. here but this also does, does nothing, this yeah. diagonal. Like, yeah. uh, this... It maybe looks threatening, but there's nothing there. What you should do is then look at this one. He's too small and too slow. Uh, same thing for this one. They can't even uh, attack the trillion. But this one is different. Now you could go here, but uh, why? Uh, you can also go there. And this is exactly what happened. 
Yeah, and when the ballista arrives in your neighborhood, this is bad news. Um, I'm adjusting the camera a little. Wait. Ah. And now there's just one hexagon between your Tribune and Eternity. And yeah, the ballista can split up in so many ways. And we uh, we have talked a little bit about it and we are quite sure this is the uh, best response. Yeah. Um, but like think, looking at this again, I don't know. I, I feel like this is equally as terrible. Oh no, like this. Um, it's a double attack and everything's defended. Yeah, right. So this is basically a death sentence. A death sentence, yeah. Um, mm. I chose to combine to a three high unit, but it doesn't matter as in this position there is a, another threat again. I'm attacked, I have to run, all my escape hexagons are blocked, uh, these by the white hex status, these by the black one, this is blocked by my own uh, unit. Uh, I, I, wanted point, I wanted to point out this specialty about the situation. If this dude wouldn't defend his tribune here, he would have a path, but this way he blocks and everything's gone. And so I can combine. These are like uh, cross attacked or defended. Um, and um, yeah, I lost. As I can't kill this one. Yeah. So I moved here. Run! And died. Back stepped. Yeah, but it was high pressure game. I didn't feel quite well. In the first place, when you were pointing all your firepower at my position, and this is what you usually do, crisscrossing your equities, bringing in some more ballistae, and this is leading to bad intentions. Okay, I would say we're going to the goodbye screen. Uh, yeah, any words from your from whatever. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I hope you like the game or the game, uh, depending on what um, uh, is being referenced. Uh, this game was quite fun. Uh, I think it was a good lesson in that you should never leave holes in your position. The game itself is uh, quite wonderful, if I do say so myself. And, you know, uh, it's quite tactically heavy and... Uh, it's uh, sure uh, very nice that you don't have openings that you can uh, learn until you know the first 22 moves and uh, basically can blow away anyone that doesn't. And um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure if one of those dudes actually in Weissenhaus would take a look at the field and see the implications, the complexity, the possibilities to restructure your army to fit your needs, I mean. Your units aren't fixed. You have everything fluent. You can decide, do I need heavy ordnance to break apart the defense lines? Or do I use some of these little dudes to spike and poke? Well, that's fun about Tribune. Yeah. And so I think uh, to end the video, uh, I we want to wish you like a great and wonderful day and a beautiful time. And until then, I would say see you soon on Tribune. <laughs>